Good morning, everyone. Honorable Chief Guest, other dignitaries of the dais. It is indeed a wonderful morning because yesterday, actually, the video was given by Raj and saying it's very things are going to do. I said, let's wait and see. But knowing Nancy and what she has done, I think God has been kind to us. So, it is indeed a wonderful day because one of my students has written a book. The book is always, what do you say, something to flesh up. Because you, like most of the teachers know, most of the principal also know, I have a huge library at home. And to this day, what I consider my biggest achievement is that I have read every book in the library. A book always leaves something with you. When you read a book, whether it's good or bad, it's different. But that book will always leave something in your mind. Something to think about, something to, what do you say, it, it is something which you can really sit and taste. It depends on what you are reading and what kind of, because a lot of people say, oh, I am lonely, this, that. Sometimes I like solitude. Why is this? It gives me time to read. It keeps me time to observe. Because a book takes you around the world. You can experience life, you can experience cultures. Without going there, a book can make you feel. It's not like a TV. Because in a TV you see something and you forget about it. A book is not like that. A book is always a treasure house. A treasure house of knowledge. A treasure house of education. A treasure house of culture. And a treasure house of tradition. And on this wonderful morning, it is wonderful to be here. And Hansi, let me put it very clearly on the time level. Because they have written a book. And I expect more books to come from And it is not just Hansi, it is all of you sitting here. Let this be an inspiration to all of you. Let this be an inspiration to all of our lives. Because you should not stop here. Because you have truly become an inspiration to all of us. And we are looking up and we are looking up for more of your books to come. And we will all support you in every way we can. That is a promise. Anyway, she is one of the true inspirations of this place. And I hope that God will bless her, bless all of you. And we look forward to having more functions like this in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, as you all know, you are a gracious leader. And uh, thank you so much for your thought provoking and resonating words. We assure you that all our students will definitely come up and exhibit their talents in one foot of the other. exist without a foreword? No, never. The foreword of today's event is none other than Dr. John Shaker, who indeed wrote the foreword of the book. An ELT expert and a writer, a professor with a broad mind and who accepts and appreciates Hansi's poems as it comes pouring from her heart. So, I request you to present and overview Hansi's book, please sir. Chief guest of uh, today's uh, book one function, Dr. Ramin Kumar APS, the chairman of the school, Dr. Bhava Suvendra. I am speaking for PhD, PhD holder, who is a physician, um, uh, principal uh, Mr. Vinumar, uh, CEO of Emerald Publishers, who have brought out a beautiful uh, book. I think soon you are going to have, uh, you are going to touch it and going to read it. And uh, Mr. Bhava then. And he is the consultant in Finland, India, and formerly principal of Scott Christian College, the ELT expert, whom I know, you may not know, but I know him for the past uh, 25 years, Dr. James or uh, uh, Daniel. And um, uh, the young uh, uh, boy, uh, Hansi, the hero of the day, um, 
the parents and uh, sibling or brother of uh, Hansi, uh, senior teachers, uh, I think that uh, uh, the mother of the poet uh, has carefully avoided the present colleagues but they have invited uh, past colleagues and uh, friends who are working uh, elsewhere like Dr. Uh, Susan, um, faculty friends uh, and student friends, good morning to all of you. This is my first experience to address the kids. I have never done it. I wasted all my life, 25 years of teaching, dealing with uh, young adults. For the first time, I am just facing uh, an audience called a kids audience. At the outset, I would like to thank um, Dr. Hamlin. Uh, uh, Hamlin is uh, mother of uh, Nancy and the distinguished alumnus of the American College where she did her postgraduate education, presently assistant professor of English at WCC Nagar uh, for not just extending invitation as to me to attend uh, this function, but also uh, also uh, to review the poems uh, from time to time. Um, Of Kansas Poetry Collection. 
She very carefully said that she enjoys the freedom, she enjoys poetic license that English teaches you. I also consider the fact that you have 100% freedom to whatever you have written and we the readers also have 100% freedom to talk about you, to contribute to the price, you know, that is the duty of uh, the readers of uh, literature. Friends and kids, there are two schools about, uh, two schools of thought about writing poetry. Number one, people believe that poets are born. Second school believes that poets are made. They attend workshop, they are uh, made. Okay, so I think that uh, Nancy belongs to the first school. She is a born poet, she is young enough not to be trained uh, by other people. She is a born poet and uh, greatness is not being pressed upon her. She earns her greatness. Okay, this young age, you are 12, 12? At the age of 12, now she has uh, worked hard and then got this uh, recognition. And uh, writing is as compulsive writing. If you ask this young poet, why do you write? Surely get in, in the Singaporean writer, staying in a hotel, sharing the, 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 the hotel with another uh, 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 couple who is a professor, anthropology professor, and the wife was uh, a homemaker. And his homemaker, while eating the basket, asked this young writer, Singaporean writer, why do you write? Nobody asked this writer, but she was asked the question, why do you write? And then if you ask uh, Hansi, why do you write? She writes because it's a compulsive life. She writes because she cannot but write. So there is no reason why she, she writes. And definitely her writing deserves our uh, readership. I, I, I am 100% sure that everyone who has suffered the year would be inspired by her uh, writing. She is the only poet, and I don't know, and I stand to uh, be corrected by um, the CEO of uh, uh, the Emerald Publishers. She is in this part of the country, this is the only poet, and she is the only thick poet who has got her poems published. I have not uh, seen any book of poetry written by kids like uh, uh, Hansi. And uh, when I was writing more poet, I used the word such a cheap literature that she is not a young girl enough to write. Uh, Adult, young adult, the girls are writing on that's called the chief literature, chief means the girls. And then as you told the children's literature, but now I tell Hamlin, there is a new genre I later to find out that kitlit. K-I-D-L-I-T, kitlit. I think she has inaugurated the culture of a kitlit in, uh, in, 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 in India. So it is a literature, kitlit is a literature written by children and for children and adults uh, alike. And uh, she has, uh, when I went through her poems, uh, she has uh, got all the flavor of uh, poetry written by uh, young adults except the uh, themes and uh, uh, treatment. She has uh, demonstrated her poetic power and uh, her language is purer. Language is purer than the language that we adults are speaking because our language is adulterated by so many ideologies you know, that we have gathered over a period of our life. And she has been influenced by a number of uh, institutions in her uh, life. Just I share with you because I am again only seven to nine minutes. I just share with you five characteristics that I would detect in her uh, uh, poetry. Number one, Hansi has. Uh, you are going to read her poems and find out for yourself. Themes and topics. Themes and topics that she has dealt with along this 66 uh, poems that she has uh, collected for decided for publication. No, people and places. People and places that she loves. Maybe mom. Maybe a teacher. Maybe dad or. Uh, bro or uh, uh, granny or grandpa or school or cultures or home, church, marketplace except uh, the, the pets like it. brownie cats and the dog no, she doesn't repeat uh, uh, in her point uh, uh, sometimes she's talking about her own world we very often think that kids have no right to have their own world they, she has her own world and above all at uh, some point they deal with uh, memories also that, that is number one Kid poetry, kid literature, kid poetry also has their own themes and uh, 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 topics. Number two, language that she has chosen really is amazing. She, I think she has got a wide range of emotive words, words that they carry a lot of uh, emotion. Very often we think that uh, adults only talk about emotion. Adults only are made of emotion. But this little girl has chosen words so carefully that uh, and weave them uh, together. What she smelled, what she heard, what she felt, what she touched, what she saw, or what she liked, what she didn't like, something she didn't like, you don't like, you have dealt with that also. Number three is rhyme scheme. Writing poetry in Tamil is entirely different from writing poetry in English. 
English poetry is bound by certain uh, uh, conventions. I don't know where she learned this uh, rhyme scheme. Definitely she would have at this good school like uh, uh, this school she would have been introduced to the English rhyme scheme. But the internalizing rhyme scheme and producing, not reproducing, producing in her own way, you know, how creative uh, uh, she is. Especially break, uh, line breaks. Why she breaks her line at a point where she has a broken canvas? Lot of meaning and sense, no when you read it, has to rhythm. Right, already it leads to uh, rhythm to the voice and also only to swimming. And number four, I think that she has very carefully revised her own draft because she didn't allow her mother to touch her poetry. And uh, she used to WhatsApp me, apologetically, there are certain things, that's the identified words. I said that don't tackle with Ansh's poetry. Maybe if, it, if, there are, if there are some slits here and there, let, it, let them be there. I was just remembering now what Shakespeare's character Nancy like he said, it may be poor but it's my own. I don't want to copy someone else and make it rich. It's my own, so it may be uh, poor. And finally friends, sometimes at some places, uh, when adults read, you may find that certain lines are meaningless. Some, even one or two points may be a nonsense here, but what I have understood that she belongs to the 21st century. She is living in a postmodern world. And that the default is a postmodernist poet you are playing with nonsense. Because we can't do anything with the now. Life is like that. Life has no meaning. We have to play with language. We cannot afford to make uh, demands from life or God. Things that are bound to happen will happen. In her own kiddish way, she has treated such uh, serious matters in life in a very trivial manner. But don't think that it is a trivial, it is something very serious, it draws your uh, attention. So friends, it is a few words of illustration. I thank all the dignitaries for their motivating and encouraging presence here today. I wish Hansi experiences uh, a kind of evolution in her growth as an uh, adult, adult boy. She has to move from being a key boy to becoming a chief advisor, then young, young adult writer, and finally Hansi will become a, an adult writer who might join the mainstream English poetry uh, in uh, uh, English. Uh, thank you all. God bless. Dr. John, we relish your words with intact attention and that will remain in our memories for the period to come. Thank you so much, sir. We are happy to have the additional Deputy Superintendent of Police, Mr. Ishwaran, who has just joined us at the book launch amidst his busy schedule. Sir, would you like to say a few words? Thank you, sir. Now, I request our beloved principal, Mr. V. Abinu, to celebrate the day again. Please, sir. Good morning, dear children, on the rest of the day. And today, I am very fortunate to be here. I am very proud, it is a proud moment for me standing in front of you. Because we are always in classrooms talking about uh, transfer of learning, real transfer of learning, experiential learning, competency based learning, 21st century skills like critical thinking, problem solving, decision making. And all our teachers are trying to achieve these competencies to their students and vice versa. All these jargons we are discussing in the classrooms every day as a principal and trying to update the thesis how to push, uh, create innovations in the class, how to do the transfer of learning in the class. This is actually the real transfer of learning. A child came out with her own talents and she started with jargons of cloud points from her minds. It's coming out of her mind, there's like a flow, there's like a ocean, something like that. I was just going to this book, it was amazing. The thing is, there's the language used here, the sir rightly mentioned that. I have seen this type of few books earlier in my uh, teaching life. Some of my students have written similar kind of books, novels, and even small poems and all. 
But most of the books came out of uh, from a different mindset that might be their adults, their parents, or someone like that. But Hansi's mother is a language expert I know very well. But I understood that this is not from mother's pen, it's from Hansi's pen. Because the language that is that. And one important thing when I come to this book about me, actually I didn't write the book. I had an ambition to write a book, I put it because that uh, skill I think so long will be uh, everywhere we are writing circulars instead of books. So I know all these circulars how to prepare circulars and send to the teachers and students. But here, um, this book is actually an indoor to her life, a personal life here. We can understand how the child uh, think and how the child slowly transform herself. My name is Hansi, it started with that. My nickname is Jimbass. I don't know that. Who is calling us Jimbass? Class? <laughs> anyway, it's a very funny thing. And some of these, for example, I go to school daily. So that's a very good habit because we are trying to integrate that habit among the students. Uh, Hansi is doing that. I do mistakes rarely, so that's also an achievement as a principle, it's an achievement for me. So it's a reflection of Hansi's feelings towards everything. I appreciate you. And at the same time, the chairman rightly mentioned that our school is always giving a lot of freedom to everyone. We are not resorting corporal punishments. And students can freely approach the principal and even the chairman. I know that Sir is a voracious leader. I don't know how many of you know that. He is having more than 5,000 books. Am I right, sir? I don't know whether I am right or not. In his own personal library. This is his library. It's a beautiful library. And every day he is reading books. Nowadays he is transferred to digital reading. So he is not carrying books. So it's real motivations. We like people and we are not able to do that. In respect of his disease, he is doing all these things. And it's a motivation for all teachers because we are teaching these types of kids. That's another thing. That's why I'm always advising to the teachers that in this era, we are not calling teachers as teachers. That title is already removed from us and again, it changed us. Teacher is a facilitator, now teacher is a colleague. Teacher is a colleague, now we are all learning together. So we are learning something from you, we are learning from the students. That's really happening here. And the real more of experiential learning happening in our campus, I'm really happy and wondering. And you are all are one of the boxes. Please unbox yourself and come out. And when we talk about creativity, people are thinking that what think out of the box. Think out of the box. That's all about creativity. But actually there is no box at all. Or is it made of keeping a box and unbox? There is no box. Think freely. And to believe in the principle of radiant thinking because of human brain is already set, uh, arranged by the God in that way, principle of radiant thinking. And unfortunately, our school education system insisted our students and teachers to think in a linear way. That's happening from the PKG, sir. We are starting with that with A, B, C, A line, 1, 2, 3, numerous in a single line, linear way. That's why we lost the habit of thinking in a radiant way. We have to think like the sun radiates. Our thinking should be was, uh, transferred everywhere and it should spread everywhere. At each moment we have to think in different, different ways, not at the same time. So I'm not extending my speech. It's really a happiest moment for me as a teacher and as a principal. It's a great achievement for me. And more than that, today I have an opportunity to share the platform with Illuminaries, stars in the field of education, health and police department. So we have uh, medical department chairman as a doctor and your police department here, education department here, teachers and students. So this is actually a wonderful time uh, and we are all really blessed today. And we heard I guess, uh, these people's names several times, all these uh, renowned professors, for say they got an opportunity to meet them and very humble because we couldn't arrange much within the limited time yesterday, it was very, very we were really doubtful how to organize this program. We planned in our playground and we shifted here in the late night. Sorry for the inconvenience. Anyhow, thank you very much. And I express my deep gratitude to each and everyone who came and joined with us today. Thank you.
for your observation and appreciation for Hansi and her book. One who is keen and interested in elevating books and driving them to their highest peak and who gives opportunity to body writers come up with full potential, he is the only one. Sir, I also request you to felicitate the gallery. Please, sir. I have no other time than to do that because I come all the way from Chennai to do this honors by talking to you and uh, talk about Nancy for a few minutes. I'm really proud and happy that I'm here as a publisher. I'm also very proud of this little girl, Nancy, for coming out to this book. But also slightly jealous of her because at 11 I was thinking what I was doing. At least our police officer was thinking about cricket or football, but I don't think I thought about any of those things. Today this generation is very blessed, we are all 21st century kids. Sadly, my generation neither belong to 20th century or 21st century. We are quite confused of which century we belong to. Not only this, we are confused in everything. Way back in the 70s, I remember when, uh, when Mixi came to our house. In those days, Mixi itself is a very big uh, uh, you know, uh, technology for us. Moving from the traditional army world to Mixi, a very big shift in technology. When that big box came to our house, I was so curious to open it and see what it was all about. My mother came and stopped at my back and said, don't touch it. Wait till he comes in the evening. He here meets my father. I didn't touch, I went out. That was the experience I had in the last century. This century, a week back we got a parcel from Amazon. I was about to open it for some smartphone or something. I heard a voice, luckily not stop me. She said, don't touch, he will come in the evening. Yes, the heat means my son. So the last generation they thought that I, I can't, I'm not supposed to touch that. And in this current generation also, I'm not updated. So you are definitely blessed. On a weekday, and two uh, prominent officers, uh, Superintendent of Police and the Deputy Superintendent of Police, both of them are seated in the guys. That only implies, you know, as they say, when when a library is open, a jail is closed. Similarly, when a book is launched, the police cops have no role because there won't be any criminals in the society. They can also jolly well mix with the civilians and enjoy the civilians. That is the impact of the book that is created. I'm not going to talk about Nancy because uh, we're talking about us. Nancy is talking about us because she is, uh, you, know, uh, kid, uh, you know, our own uh, writer. But I want to talk about uh, the chairman of this school. The head of the institution made a difference. We, we have had about 15 such kids books have been published uh, through our publications. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure whether any poem uh, collections published earlier that I will check. But, but one thing I can tell you, in all the earlier 15 cases, Never we have had an opportunity to got the book launched in the school itself. We have done it elsewhere. We have done it in a five-star hotel. We have done it in a hall everywhere. In few cases the school teacher or principal attended, but first time again on a, on a working day, scores of students sitting here watching one of the one of the fellow classmates or schoolmate getting a book launched. This would go a long way in inspiring everyone of you. That is what we are I was astonished this morning when he said, I've got 20,000 plus books in my personal collections. Even, even a very big uh, bookstore in Chennai cannot boast of having so many such books. But he has, more importantly, he says that he has, he has read all the books that he has in his uh, collections that shows how well he has said. This is one life. We, I mean, I, I, I don't believe that we will have one more chance to come. We pass through this world only once. If you all have read the famous book uh, uh, written by Ivan Noah Arabi, 
the sapiens release he, he says some 60000 years back even the human race was very 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 insignificant homo sapiens were very insignificant in this world compared to all other species but what has uh, dramatically changed in the last 60 years is we were, we were just like chimpanzees, nothing wrong and she said, I am also a chimpanzee. Yes, they are our very close cousins. 99.99% of our DNA matches in this, that's what genetics says today. Then what has evolved us completely is our ability to communicate, that is what the Yuvalavakarari says, that, that ability to that come with stories with all other animals, only animals to kind of communicate. Even the powerful lions, the powerful tigers, they communicate amongst themselves. But only we, the homo sapiens, have the power of uh, connecting the dots. I may say that I saw two police, three officers at this school. That's all. An animal may communicate. But only a human being can say, there was a book launch function. The two of them were present there. This kind of dots connecting was made to, you know, uh, helpful for the human beings to evolve faster than others. All other animals take six or seven generations to communicate to the, the, the genetics. But we can do it in the same, gener so same generation itself that we always tell others that don't do this, don't do this. You would have heard people saying, you would have got really upset. Why are they always the elders say, don't do this, don't do that? Because we say that it's out of our experiences. But my dear children, as she rightly said in the beginning, quoting from Robert Frost, the path less traveled by it will always be a pressure. It will take you, as our deputy superintendent said, you, you know, it will make you come out of the comfort zone. So, why everybody will prefer to travel in the same path? Because it's a comfort zone. My brain is conditioned that way. I can easily pass through. But if I take a new route, then I have to always be constantly vigilant whether I'm going in the right direction. But only people who have taken different rules have set the tone for this world to follow. That is what but this little anger she has done. You have got a long way to go. Uh, as rightly said by our professor here, that yes, uh, you know, Dr. Uh, John said that, you know, when we were also discussing about the some of the you know, uh, poetic lines, uh, it, it was not in conformity with, with the, the, the literary uh, you know, framework people say. Then, then I said, it's, it's, if you just take that as a postmodernism. Then somebody laughed and said, today it's become a fashionable word that anything does not uh, form into a system, you guys call it as postmodernism. But I'm very happy that today it was confirmed. Yes, a learned academician like Professor Dr. Uh, Dr. John has shared us in the that it's, it's, she has got that absolute freedom to express her thoughts. I have to congratulate and uh, appreciate our parents because both of them, such a, such a, you know, uh, they are very humble, quiet. I've been, you know, incidentally, uh, the last time when I came to a book launch in Nagarkoil, it was Hamlin's book that was uh, uh, published. That Hamlin uh, translated the, along with the Susan who seated here, translated uh, the book uh, written by Malakati was come for uh, Sahitya Academy, Yogustar Awadi. Madhuravati's uh, Tupukari was uh, uh, lost in the same town with the buoyance of uh, academic uh, field like K. Uh, uh, Chalak and Professor Jam, James Daniel, so many of them came. And today, we, within a few years, we, we, we are seeing another uh, talent coming out of the same house. I'm sure this, this will continue. I'm very happy and proud of because many times we, are, we get confused, like this generation we get confused. Ayo yo, tomorrow how are these going, kids going to be? Ayo yo, I'm not going to shoot. What will happen? But yes, uh, nothing will happen because when we see the people like Fancy, we know that this world will be very much safer than what it was in our time. If I'm standing here and talking, don't think that I, we were the best. We were the people, we were the culprit today who have brought this, uh, you know, plastic bottles here to drink water. When I was a kid like you, and we used to go drink water in the school, stash, but, but in the last 30-40 years, we ruined this environment and brought these kind of things. 
but the youth generation are very, very responsible. I've seen at the time of uh, the Deepavali also, I'm seeing that you, you are far more responsible. You talk about environment, you talk about mother health, you talk about peace. And I'm, I'm, I'm only assured when such books are released, more such books are released, more prisons are closed, more, more and more, uh, you know, the, the law and other department, they, they will only contribute with different forms of uh, uplifting the society. And once again, congratulate and salute the school management. They are, they are as rightly said, it's not just one ANSI. It's not felicitating ANSI. It is not acknowledging our work. It is indirectly, indirectly, we are, we are trying to put seats on so many of you. I know every one of you would dream that one day you should sit here. This will be definitely a day for us to be remembered in our life. If you ask me which are the best days in your life to be remembered in school days, I can hardly say two or three, just that's all. But I can never match with the kind of experience that she had today in her life. Even tomorrow if she goes to Stanford, she goes to Harvard, she'll say, in my school, I, I launched my book. She will say proudly that for that this administration was facilitated. I thank them, thank all the school uh, staff members uh, and also friends of Nancy uh, for showing up in large number to support what is important is buy this book. That's very important. If at all you want to do something to enhance it, buy this book. Generously buy this book. If you want to meet somebody, buy this book and give them no your sweets. Especially people like us, if we eat sweets, we won't stay longer in this world. Better give us books so that we will stay healthy and happier. Buy books as many as possible, not just one. Go tell your parents, I want to buy Hansi's book and keep, uh, keep it in my house. Give it to all my friends as kids. So I will also tell that, you know, don't worry about this price. We will give you a price which anybody can easily afford to. And wish you all the very best. Thank you very much.